Hey guys, I'm Sally Lindley. Welcome to this episode of Shop with Sally. On this episode, we are going to discuss your wardrobe. Okay, so we've been working for weeks now to get your wardrobe to a place where we can create your own lookbook for your smartphone or your computer or whatever is the easiest way or for you to print out for you to be able to look at your closet and your different outfits that you have pre-styled for yourself based on situations from your personal style collages that you created on the first uh, video from this series. So, what you want to do now, on the last episode where we spoke about this, you put together the list of outfits from your closet of the items that you already own and that you have purchased to do these looks for the style inspiration collages. And you put them together and now you're going to put them on your body, make sure that you love them in a mirror, and then have someone help you out by taking your picture against a plain wall. Like, so you see I have a white back background right there? Yeah, there it is. Sorry, I'm not good at pointing and looking backwards. Um, I would use this, and I do use this for when I'm doing my lookbook for myself. And what you want to do is stand against a plain colored wall, a light colored wall is preferable. That way you see the outline of your clothes really clearly. If you have a white wall or a white door, that's always a good place to do this. And you want to get someone to take your picture and have them put a mark on the floor of where they're going to be sitting. Have them sit in a chair. They should not be standing. And they're going to look at you with their, with their iPhone and click and make sure that, that they have you in the frame from the right above your head, should be like that much above your head, and like that much below your toe of your shoe. And what you're gonna do is style yourself in the outfits that you listed that were inspired by your collages. Now when you're taking these pictures, remember to look at your collages and look at anything that may be inspiring for your styling, such as Bob Marley, who you know was my inspiration for my little um, lists I did for you guys last week, he would always have a couple buttons unbuttoned. So he always had a button philosophy where he would leave like two top buttons unbuttoned and he would button three buttons and then leave two more open on the bottom. And you know, things like that. Um, or he'd always have a rolled up sleeve. So make sure that when you're putting together your outfits that you're properly styling it the way you are inspired by your style boards. Now it may mean tucking in a shirt, it may mean leaving the shirt out, it may mean rolling up the sleeves, it may be mean buttoning it all the way to the top. It may mean popping the collar, which can be douchey, but I think it can be cool. So it depends on what your inspiration is and what your own personal style is from your collages and just things that you've seen that you want to bring into your wardrobe. The idea here is to have fun styling yourself. Remember to put all your favorite jewelry with the pieces that you want to be wearing day in day out. And remember to also do outfits with different shoes depending on the situation, how far you're walking, you know, if you can walk in the shoes very far or if it's just for dinner night where you're just going to go from the car to the restaurant, sit down in the restaurant, or if it's a night where you're entertaining or dancing, you want to have a different pair of shoes as an option for the outfit and then also doing outfit variations where you have jackets or layers on top when it gets a little bit cooler that you can put on as an option and put in your lookbook as an option and then also doing options you know with the different shoes and then different bags and different jewelry so play around like that come up with as many different outfit um, variations as you can for your personal style vibes collages and inspiration and then what you want to do is um, so you shoot it all with your friend have a friend come by make sure your hair and makeup looks nice and you're not gonna hate the pictures of yourself if you really hate looking at pictures of your own face, um, I would do sunglasses on every picture. So I have these right here. So the nice thing about throwing sunglasses on is like you're less likely to make a shitty face. Excuse my language again. Um, but it just makes everything look really blanket. I love doing this when I'm doing looks for, for like a magazine or when I'm doing looks, which are just images I do of a celebrity or something like that before a shoot when we're just trying outfits on. I'll put sunglasses on everything. That way they all look super uniform. It automatically makes everything look cooler. And then you can also maybe be selecting your sunglasses that you want to go with each outfit as you're shooting. And then you don't have to worry about your makeup and your face looking like irritating to you because you're really going to be the one using these pictures. So what, you know, what I recommend then, upload everything to your phone and make a file folder or an album on your phone. If you're in, um, if you're in iPhone, uh, iPhone mode, which, sorry, I don't work, I haven't had an Android, so I don't know what that means, what that looks like. But in your photos, you can see we're in my photo roll. You can see I have a whole bunch of shoes in there right now. There is a share, or there's an albums, 
and you can plus, pl uh, plus in the corner here. I know this is kind of crazy. I'll put things below. You enter the name of the new album, which I'm going to put Lookbook, Lookbook, Sally, Lindley, two thousand summer two thousand summer two thousand fourteen, and save. And then I'll put in that folder I just created that album I just created. I'll put all the looks that I shoot of myself in my favorite outfits for summer two thousand fourteen. So then I have my lookbook. So every time that I'm packing, every time that I don't want to think about what to wear, I don't want to style myself, I can just go onto my phone, open that album, and I see all myself in my favorite outfits. So hopefully this is helpful. I love it. I love to do this for my clients. I love creating it for myself. It gives you a fun way to do that kind of share Horowitz thing from Clueless where you can thumb through on your phone all your outfits in your closet. You might not be able to put them together like she did, but at least you'll have all your favorite outfits already pre put together and pre styled. And the other important thing to remember while you're doing this photo shoot is that you want to be comfortable. You want to love these outfits. You want to love the way you look in them. You want to look sexy. So don't rush through this. Get a little champagne, have a little wine, do whatever you do to get relaxed, whatever that means. And with your friend who's you're having fun and put some music on and make this into a couple hour fun little thing. I've done this for a lot of supermodel friends of mine before they went to the show because it shows like because they would have their pictures taken going between the fashion shows. This is what we would do for the week before that when they were traveling and they were tired and they didn't want to think about their clothing. We would do pre-sorted looks just like this. So that's my advice for the ultimate wardrobe organization styling. I hope you guys like it and use it and have fun. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Shop with Sally. Check you later.